Well, hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a one-hour reading, you can just hit the more button down below and follow the link on over. I hope everyone is doing well, vibing high, and getting ready to have the best seven days of our life. We are getting a look-see at what the next seven days has in store for us. We have a powerful Scorpio new moon on November 1st, as well as Halloween, where the veil is said to be the thinnest. Baby Luna is recovering well. She's sharking around me here. You may be able to see her. Um, and on top of that, it is the 1-1 one, one portal. And so score very powerful time to do some kind of manifestation ritual, do some kind of um, candle magic. I'm going to be working with water. Um, you may want to try some different techniques right now and set your intentions for the next six months. New moon is a six month lunar cycle. And so the things that you're working on right now will start to come into fruition in the next six months. The overall energy, soulmate, um, deep soul connection, blooming love. Some of you there may be some things going on with a lover this week. Over the next seven days, you could meet a brand new soulmate. Others, there could be um, something blooming between you and a, per a person from your past. They may have more recently than not came back into your life. Some of you, you're going to find a friend or a um, job where... You feel like these people are from your soul family. The other message I'm getting is over the next seven days, some of you may have some deja vu. Um, there may be some extreme deja vu in a situation where you feel like you've been there before. I know for me, when I moved to the city that I moved to after losing my son for a year by myself, I knew that I had been there before. I knew that I had met the people at the place I was working um, before. I, I just would be overcome with intense deja vu. And some of you may be um, as well. Don't I drop something on my shirt as I was trying to help Luna get the snot off of her little incisions in her nose. So please forgive me. Spiritual growth and destined for greatness it is your destiny to be great. It is coded in your DNA. It's time to meet your greatest self. Doing some self-concept work over the next seven days can be very powerful. Who is your ideal self, Scorpio? Give your ideal self an alter ego. Who is Scorpio um, that is living on their highest timeline, living their best life? What would you do? How would you act? How would you speak? What are the, the habits and routines that you would have to adapt to become your best self? Those that are looking to meet a new lover or to reconnect with a past lover, remember that if you're not in your ideal skin, you can't expect to meet somebody else who is in their ideal skin. So it's important for you to start working on becoming your ideal person, Scorpio, because you are destined for greatness. It's in your DNA. Prioritize your spiritual growth and don't allow the cares of life to squeeze you out of your goal to grow spiritually. Amen. I often have to take a step back when I start to, um, you know, slack on my spiritual practices. It's one of the reasons why I, um, I've changed my schedule a bit. I need to continue to work on myself and my spiritual practices. Some of you have maybe lost sight of doing that. It's important that you start really um, connecting to your higher self and prioritizing your spiritual growth. Over the next seven days, you may feel really called to do that. You may feel called to start meditating, breath work, journaling, um, candle magic, anything that helps you connect to your highest self. I love doing a meditation with a candle. You just light a candle and you stare into the flame. <clears throat> if you're not a good meditator, it's a really great way to start learning. You stare into the flame, 
without with blinking as minimal as possible and put on some kind of healing frequency like Hertz um, 638 or 412 or something like that. So you can get yourself in, in a Zen place and just stare at the flame um, and become just really, really centered. Let thoughts come and let them go. Um, but it's it's a really I think it's a very powerful practice. I do it a lot, um, especially when I only have like ten minutes to meditate. Over the next seven days, some of you um, may get contacted by an ex. Some of you are dealing with lawyers because you're in the middle of a lawsuit, a divorce, a child support hearing. It's important that you start strategizing over the next seven days, Scorpio. Um, have a strategy. Have some goals set. What, I, what I've been doing, and I, it's been really, really beneficial for me, is I wake up in the morning and I write, I commit to. Um, I commit to, and then I list all the things I commit to doing in my day. I also, weekly, I've been trying to add um, a healthy habit and take away a bad one and if i don't master taking away the bad habit or bringing in the good habit i just follow it for the next week but every week i've been working on changing some things about my life because remember it takes repetition to really adapt a healthy habit or to let go of a bad one a toxic one over the next seven days there could be a woman that's very important here you could get a job offer from a woman. You could meet a woman if you date feminine energies. But there's some opposing forces, some unpredictable events. Some of you over the next seven days, there could be some kind of difficult experience with a lover. Um, you're going through major milestones, completions, fulfillments. It's the end of a journey, but you may feel like you want to isolate a bit. Sometimes being on our own is what's best, but... Don't stay isolated for too long. You're recharging your mind, your body, your spirit. You're in introspection mode or you will be. A cancer could be important to you. I asked Spirit what you should be working on over the next seven days. And um, you should be working on building healthy relationships in your family as well as your, your home. Some of you need to... Um, clean your home. You need to declutter your house. New moons, perfect day to do so. Let go of the old stuck energy. If you're someone who hangs a, on to a lot of things, you may want to start donating or um, throwing out or at the very least getting yourself organized over the next seven days, working on your home, your security. You may be working on finding a new home, buying a new home, selling one. Um, you are being called to put your energy and effort into your family and your home over the next seven. <clears throat> you are protected. Cleanse and protect your energy. Jealous people nearby. This is what I'm saying, guys. Cleanse and protect your energy. You've got to be careful who you trust. You're in a karmic cycle. What you need to be working on is this negative, toxic, karmic pattern and personal growth. Um, there's somebody that is lustful. And this person may come in wanting to be intimate with you. You're, you are being called to look at where you're, who you're sharing your sexual energy with. Someone sending you the evil eye. You are being protected. But you need to start protecting your home better. You may want to hang some bells outside your door. Salt your doorways. Um, mop with cinnamon. Even when I use my little Swiffer mop, I sprinkle cinnamon on my floors a lot. Um, really sage your home over the next seven days. Get out any old stuff energy and say some kind of protection um, prayer over your home. You want to always make sure that your home is your sanctuary, Scorpio. And if you don't feel peaceful and calm in your home, then a strategy on finding a way to do so is going to be important. Five of Swords, Eight of Cups, over the next seven days, some of you may decide to leave a home. After an argument, you may have a roommate that you ask to leave or you leave. You may have a lover. 
that you you're strategizing to leave there's something about your home here over the next seven days that will be significant those that feel like you're not safe in your own home scorp you have to start strategizing to get out of this if there's not a safe peaceful place for you to lay your head for you to feel at home like you know it's your safe place it's your place where you can come back to yourself and and really find um inner peace there then it's impossible to heal because if you're all over the page if you're you know if you don't have your own private space if you know for whatever reason you're you're staying with people because you know maybe times have been tough finding a strategy to get out of that will be necessary it doesn't happen overnight but with a strategy you can figure this out my friends i know you can there may be something that you want to invest in over the next seven days when it comes to a home as well you may decide to buy a home or get your own apartment you may hear that you got approved on an apartment and you're walking away from one um but home and family on the forefront over the next seven days. As far as your love life, tears of sorrow or joy, fulfillment, chasing after something, emotional release. Could be 34. Six could be a significant number to you. Um, some of you, November 6th is going to be important to you. Maybe your birthday. Happy, happy birthday to my babes celebrating today. It looks like, um, Scorpio, you're chasing after something or somebody for some of you. You may not under realize that you're in a chasing energy, but if you're wishing, hoping, waiting, pining, um, re-looking at messages, looking at emails waiting for them to text and call you are energetically chasing them so be careful of staying in this chaser energy for too long you can start pushing away the other person um, energetically there could be something that makes you really happy in your love life that you actually cry or for others you're finally going through an emotional release from a bad breakup that you haven't really dealt with um for others you just may feel um, extra emotional this week when it comes to um a lover that you may be in separation with a charming Casanova tells you what you want to hear or talks their way out of trouble. There could be somebody that has plans to come in and apologize and smooth talk you. I already felt this energy. I was about to say has plans to apologize. They seem to want to make something right with you. For some of you, this person's going to come in and talk their self out of trouble. They've ghosted. They haven't been around but again, home. You see, some of you are, are going to plan to move in with a lover. Some of you, there's a lover that feels like home to you. Coming back with some apologies. Um, be careful that they're just not telling you what you want to hear. You know, your intuition will not, will never steer you wrong, Scorp. Um... Tell me about the person on Scorpio's mind the next seven days, please. They're going through a bit of a transformation. They can no longer um, resist this change, but there's more to the story. There's secrets and lies. This person is hiding something. Be mindful that they are going to come in and smooth talk you, but they're not telling you the whole truth. They're moving in silence here. They want to seduce you. They feel like they are your weakness. They feel like you are a bad bitch or dude. But when it comes to them, you you never deny them. And some of you, you want to try to change that because this person thinks they can just come and go as they please, Scorpio. They feel this chasing energy. 
Um, there could be some transformation happening. I believe in redemption. I believe we all have the ability to change. Some of you, there may be a very beautiful reconciliation where this person is actually changed and you've changed and you all can come into true union opposed to just triggering each other repeatedly and breaking up. Tell me about this. Tell me about this transformation, please, that this person is undergoing. Yeah, they're burdened. They're tired. They're tired of, of um, being so burdened. This person's starting to open their heart space. There could be a pregnancy. Some of you may find out you're pregnant after this hookup. This person definitely wants to bait you with their sexual energy. Um, they're going through a transformation and they're opening their heart space. And our heart vibrates um, something like 5,000 times stronger than our brain, actually. So that's why your heart space, your, your heart chakra is so important. When it gets blocked, it blocks the flow of abundance and the flow of love. You may want to do a heart, a heart chakra meditation the next seven days. Tell me about these secrets and lies. They're not who they claim to be. Be careful if you're meeting new lovers, Scorpio, and they live at a distance and they won't FaceTime you or, you know, they won't video call you. <clears throat> this person, you know, Queen of Wands energy, I felt this. This person's not telling you the whole truth about a third party that's involved. Somebody they work with for some of you, Knight of Wands energy, and they're also not approaching in a really good way. They're coming in, they're going to tell you they want to work on things, but they're still third parties or a third party lover in the background. This person thinks with their private part. They need to sit the fuck down somewhere. They can't resist this change any longer, but... They seem to be in the middle of the transformation. They haven't fully transformed yet. Um, or have they fully let go of a third party? This person could be involved with a Leo. Um, although they are clearing the path for union here, there's still a lot of things that they're selfishly hanging on to. There's still a lot of things that... They are not going to talk to you about. Some of you, this person will refuse to answer your questions about certain things. Um, they're coming in very fast, very aggressively with some sort of apology. They want to make things right, but they also haven't fully let go of a third party or they are still out here acting recklessly with their se sexual energy. Devil bottom of the deck. This person is bound to unhealthy things, unhealthy people. They've got to let go now. They've got to let go of these toxic patterns and, and people. They can't resist it anymore. Over the next six months, you're going to find that there is a lot of change that happens with this person and their life because once it gets to a point where you can't resist it anymore that's when everything starts falling down it's just tower moment after tower moment because this person did not listen to their intuitive hits not just about you either in general in their life will you give me a second chance please give me some time to heal i could talk to you forever and i get excited when i see you this person needs a little more time to heal, Scorp. They want to come in. They may bait you with sexy pics or wanting to come over. But just know that they're not quite there yet. They still need more time to heal and to clean up their life. You don't want to end up getting hurt again um, because this person has so many secrets and lies. I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed day and the best fucking seven days of Scorpio. This is going to be the best seven damn days we've ever had. Stand up, clap your hands, get ready. This is another beautiful and blessed week. My blessings are coming. I'm going to stay in a high vibe and see if I can change the things that I am manifesting into my physical reality. Love and light.